All right, everybody, we're out here at the Lou Golf River below the dam. We're gonna go up and check and see if we can find these fish that are supposed to be stuck in the rock. We're gonna paddle up in a little small kayak today. Figure it'd be a little easier to go upstream, so stay tuned. It shows sure smell. As you can see, we're coming up on the DNR, Gaming Resource people. We're going to paddle up there, park right beside them. I don't know many people to chase them, but we're going to the same spot today. Alright guys, we made it. Let's go check out what all the fuss is about. Hopefully they won't turn on any water. You guys, I don't know that I wore the right kind of shoes. I might have my Crocs. We're gonna go down these rocks and see if we can't circle around, watch some of this vine stuff. Mr. DNR. This is really super low. Water ain't usually this low. See some lead. One lead. Thought I'd just come over here and pick up lures. Putting them in my pocket. Shad already. Look at all the dead shad. Look for it, Ben. Starting to see them. Whew. That was unexpected. Gotta be careful. Starting to see the thread fins. A few of them still alive in the puddles. See people over there. Let's go see if we can find them. Yeah, there's still lots of little shad in these puddles. Looks like lots of them didn't make it too. More lead. Oh well. There's a shad. That looks like a, a striper over there. Oh, a white bass maybe? Don't even see many of them. It's just littered with fish. Litter, litter, litter. Big catfish looks like in the middle. It's pretty rough. Going around to see what we can find. So as I'm moving along, I'm seeing thousands and thousands of uh, these little dead sheds. But uh, in some puddles, there's some live ones. There's some trying to live, but uh, I'm not really seeing any kind of large fish swimming around at all. All right, so we see the DNR guys over there. We're gonna to try to slide over there and see if they'll talk to us, see what they got to say about all this. All right, everybody, I talked to those guys over there. They didn't really strike me as like, really like game warden. I mean, they work for DNR, obviously, but I think they're more like scientists out here trying to collect data. Obviously, this is something that wasn't attended. These new bladders up there that they installed to, to help with the upstream flooding has obviously made some environmental changes out here i think they're just trying to measure the impact hopefully it don't happen very much more but anyway we'll walk around see if we can get some more pictures of some of the the fish and then probably head on back to the house make a little baby striped bass 
I mean, it's horrific to see the shad, the little thread fins, but uh, them bass, we really need not to lose too many of them. We can't be healthy for them. really rocky out here this is super extra low from where we normally would be coming around there's just little, little piles of fish everywhere we're gonna go over there looks like a puddle with a bunch of them in trouble we're gonna go check them out over there Guys, I can't help it. I just saw a massive school of some kind of fish. I'm saying catfish rolling like crazy. As nasty, as nasty as it may sound, I'm gonna grab a handful of these and go chuck them out there. Cause there's fish going crazy over there. They ain't been dead that long. Let's see how close we can get. There's fish over there. Let's see if they'll jump before we even get there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Get as close as we can get. Oh, I see him. The big old catfish over there. They're all up on the bank over there. Oh, wow. They didn't float. I'm gonna shed something. All in there. Big old catfish is stuck up in there. Look at them. Oh wow. That's freaking nuts. Look at all the catfish on that wall. Look at those catfish. It's everywhere. We're gonna do the shad thing again. I'm gonna see if I can't chunk them all the way over to the wall, see if they react. Let's go get some more. Nasty, nasty. There's some live ones. You might get a handful of that bigger. Or not. Take them back over here. Huh? Down here on the rock. All right, Let's see if we can toss them over there. All right, so they seem to move away from that one. Let's see if we can toss them over there. Look at there, guys. 
Catfish don't want dead shad. They like that fresh stuff. Just like you'd rather have some fried catfish rather than some sardines. I guess the fish feel the same way. All right, we're gonna try to get over there. We're gonna try to get over there, guys. We're gonna get across these rocks first without trying to get terribly wet. Follow the steps. Go this way. It's gonna get better. Look at there. It's like steps made from heaven. Hi. Right. How much closer? Here. Yeah. Here. Be careful, Mister. Slippery. All that for this. We're out here. It's freaking insane. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of catfish coming back from inside of here where they've been trapped and back into the river. They're just swarming up under here. We got down here all the way to the water. Had to cross over some crazy rocks back there. But look at those fish. I mean, just look at it. That's been crazy. Crazy, crazy. But look at the Lugol Dam, just thousands and thousands of fish. Now the, now the fun part, we gotta get back across these rocks without disaster. All right. Hopefully, just one more. Hopefully, just one more slippery one, and we'll be home free. Gotta hit the dry spot. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, all right. Dry rocks. Woo. Dry weekly rocks. All right, guys. Well, that was a neat adventure. Got out, kind of jumped around the rocks and stuff, seen some some live fish, seen some dead fish. Oh no, it was a good afternoon adventure to kind of get out here. And so we're here at the, the Lugolf Dam. Just enjoying the outside. We're gonna float back down the river. Maybe we get some, some footage of some gar jumping or something. There sure are a lot of them out here. <laughs>